Welcome back team, Vaughan here from Longevity Plus, guiding you towards longevity and an active life. Part of leading an active life is using your arms. That often means lifting stuff. Lifting stuff means using your bicep. Maybe some of you just want to look great in a polo. Or maybe you just love training your guns. Give her two tickets to the gun show. Whatever your reason is for training arms, I'm sure you want to stay strong and pain-free while doing it. Today we're going to be covering what could be the best bicep exercise for longevity. But before we break the exercise down, let's roll the intro. So we are talking about drag curls. So why could it be the best? Reason one, often our delts want to dominate a curl. A drag curl would reduce the amount of involvement of the shoulder. A lot of bicep exercises put a lot of unnecessary wear and tear on the long head bicep tendon that passes over the humerus and into the shoulder. Some of you might already be experiencing some shoulder issues. Reason two, Reason number two, drag curls create a safer and stronger leverage angle at the elbow. A drag curl puts less stress on the bicep tendon at the distal end. Less chance of injury, less pain. Reason number three, a drag curl makes it easy for us to deaden the wrist or extend the wrist. A lot of bicep curl exercises, we tend to want to flex the wrist. Flexing the wrist puts a lot of stress on the forearm, takes it away from the bicep where we want it. Plus it can lead to some aggravation of the wrist and possibly of the elbow. Reason number four, a drag curl puts our shoulder into an extended position. This automatically stretches the long head of the bicep. And working the long head of the bicep is awesome for bicep peak. So that's another win right there. We are not looking at the possible causes of the shoulder, wrist or elbow pain in this video. That's a whole bunch of other videos on their own. Today we are looking at a safe and effective exercise that you can do if biceps are your bag. Is this sort of thing ain't my bag, baby. And if you want to minimise possible aches and pains, and of course train for longevity. Right, let's get into it. Here we go with drag curls. I like to use an easy bar. That's that wiggly bar if you've got one. If you haven't got an easy bar, you can use dumbbells. Going to perform exactly the same benefit. It's called a drag curl because you are dragging the bar up your body. Imagine trying to pull your wrists up into your armpits. Get them as close as you can. Personally, I like to do this exercise standing with a slight forward lean. Helps to make it more athletic. You've got to brace your core. You've also got to use ankle and foot stability. Aim for 8 to 12 slow controlled reps, 3 to 4 sets twice a week, or substitute it with your current biceps exercise. There you have it. Is this the best exercise for biceps? Well, maybe. It always depends on your goal your physical condition and your limitations. However, I do recommend you give it a try. Remember, the goal of this channel is to clarify and simplify so you can take action now. Remove the confusion and possible analysis paralysis. Thanks for watching everybody. Until next time, keep moving, keep improving and keep the mojo alive. And if you haven't already, press the like button, press the subscribe button, press the bell icon so you'll always be notified when a new video is released and stay tuned for the tip of the week.